Hello, everybody. Right. Um, I'm not sure how well this Hello is going to work. Right. It's not going to work um, at all well if I've got I'm the sure. Muali muted, so let's not do that. Right. That's better. Right. So, my concern here is whether or not there's enough something for this to even work. Because when I clicked away from it a minute ago, the video got all, um, all pausey and nasty. Might just have been video playback because we know how good my machines have been at video playback. Let's see how we get on and we'll try and mix things up if necessary. This is not the way I would normally do the stream. You'll notice I'm not at work. Um, my wife has been diagnosed with COVID. Um, so uh, I'm, I'm isolating at home. Um, and, well, having moved everything back to the office, I am not getting enough out for doing basically anything here anymore um so um yeah rather hurriedly slashed together uh, and we'll see whether or not we get something working okay so uh welcome to the stream um we're on steam as well um if anybody else is there uh, i am looking at the steam chat but i don't think anyone's there um she's doing fine she's all oh, sorry for herself watching telly all day in the in the living room and um so uh, now nah, she's fine so far so so far anyway uh, but thank you very much. <coughs> oh, dear. Uh, right, so what are we doing today? We are going to have a look at Hamburg Lübeck. Uh, then we're going to do Cathcart. And then we're going to do Peninsula Corridor. This is not going to be a short stream, uh, as may have been indicated. And I've, uh, I have let Matt, uh, Nat know to, um, to go, you know, you know it's going to be a long stream. So there you go, really. <clears throat> she said I could have five hours. <laughs> Why was this stream not on the schedule? It was a last minute edition. Which is another reason that it didn't come up because just like I got a request came in at like lunchtime today. Um it went and it was um you know, Matt, can we do a stream tonight? Um Alright then. Yeah. Okay, why not? I get to play the game. Um <clears throat> Right, okay, let's stop waffling and get on driving the train and waffle while we're driving trains and then we can miss signals and I can blame you. Um Right, okay, we're going to put a bit of cloud on. And let's make it September. Actually, stick with November. I like the idea of November. A bit more cloud. A bit, bit of wind on as well. Let's get those trees moving. Right, now, I wanted to do our regional barn. So let's go for somewhere in the region of... Uh, Hamburg Lübeck. I need. I want to do the whole route, so it needs. To, it does need to be an express. I don't want to just stop halfway along the route. But what's the fun of that? So yeah, I think RE8 seems like a reasonable bet. Nine o'clock. We'll do that. Oh, I like that shot. Still textures are flickering on Xbox. Really, Chucky. All right. <clears throat> No, I must. Admit, I've not looked at the latest build myself on Series X, so I need to. Uh, well, when I've got access to a console again, uh, I need to uh, give that a try. Oh, I've got my retail kit over there, so I could try that. Right, one, one, two. This looks familiar. Come on, wake up, computer. Oh, this machine is not used to playing anything. Right, okay. Old 6th gen Intel. It's not quite the uh, machine I've got to work, so. That's that one. I've got PZB on. PZB O is fine. Right, break key in. I open the doors. We need the uh, gauge lights on. We need the headlights on. think we've probably got all the things on that we need on <clears throat> lock the doors you could still put some coffee on Calador I'm not gonna wait for you you're gonna have to get the next train but right never let it be said I stopped you getting coffee Oh no, I will barely live with myself. Right, let's put some power on. In fact, I'll take that to 30. Oh yes, so don't forget this. This has got an immediate knowledge required. There's a thousand hertz hot here. 
Yeah, I'm not allowed coffee anymore. <laughs> Right, well, we've got to wait till we get out of the uh, start program now. Favourite coffee brand? <clears throat> oh, I like a decent latte. Uh, Calidor, thank you very much. I will pass that on to her. She's doing fine. Um, weathering it like a trooper. It's only day one, so. Uh, is there AI trains at Hamburg? Not many. I know Joe is working on an improved timetable that would have more, but it's, it's not finished yet. <clears throat> I'll put the force selector up, because it should hopefully help it more forcefully engage with the uh, speed limits although the speed limit at the moment the PZB enforced speed limit is actually 85 so we're not going to get a bang out <coughs> 37 kilometers to our next station so uh, no biggie Says 40, is there a number on it? Six. Okay, good for the six. Put it on the six. Nothing to worry about on the full signal. <coughs> uh, layers for ne uh, last gen? No, not yet. It's bad, old, and slow indeed. You like Sherman Hill and the Snow Bad Guy? Nice. Yep, this is Hamburg to Lubeck, uh, MSA. All right, 100 kilometers an hour. We've got nothing saying we can't do it, so uh, the hammer is drophead. You're on a 101 on GWE. Nice. Much respect. You can't beat. A 101 on GWE. Let's drop that force selector back. This service is RE811410, starting at everyone's in the um, patches or certainly on steam today for um, Sherman Hill should improve things a little you love magnet for trouble nice <laughs> I know they had a lot of fun with that one <clears throat> Speed up to 120. First patch was do there was two patches today, Taze. One was the um uh the bell and the second one was we'd found a uh a so in the, in the port of doing Sherman Hill um, the team had done some improvements to lighting and, and sky system. Um, I don't know exactly what they are, um, but there were some changes done in that area. 
and what they found in their checks uh, and you know profiling was that they had actually cost about five frames per second for some people um, so they uh, they put some more changes in to make it not do that um, so <clears throat> that's a partial improvement it won't be for everybody um, but it's a partial improvement it I think it'll only be for Sherman Hill um, <clears throat> and so there's there's more being looked into uh, but that's certainly the uh, the next step <clears throat> You bought Rush Hour season ticket, the other layers have not shown up. Uh, what platform are you on, Michael? Is it a Generation 8 console like Xbox One or PlayStation 4, or is it PC, PS5, Series X? <clears throat> what are we at? 31 kilometers. Apologies for the stuttering on my machine, it's a bit sluggish. It's a bit old hat now. This machine. <laughs> all right. So PS4 doesn't have the uh, doesn't have all the layers. There's not enough memory for them to load all those trains in, uh, particularly with the size of route and the variety of assets that are on the route. So uh, at the moment, the other layers um, are not loading. Uh, they've been disabled on the older consoles. We don't have any plans to change that. Um, obviously, it could be done at some point if we're able to massively shrink how much everything takes in memory, which should give you an idea of how unlikely that is. Wow, this is stuttering more than I remember it stuttering on this machine. Why is there no IC on Hamburg Lubeck? I don't think. Do they run along this line? I guess I'm going to rely on Joe to tell me about that. <clears throat> yeah, I'm probably going to do the same thing on this one, train simulator driver. It seems like it would make sense. Wow. What are you doing? Wake up, yo. <laughs> oh, this is part of this is endemic in the root. Oh, my word. It does seem to be hitting the hard drive quite hard, which suggests it's loading a lot of assets. If you release the missing uh, the other layers in separate timetables, I mean, in theory, but they wouldn't have any 377s in those layers or 387s. So it'd be a bit quiet. It's the reason we haven't done that, because we weren't sure that made sense. Do I own a Tesla? No. My car is an Astra. Somewhere along up here, it lets us bump up to 160. Not for long, but for a bit. Is the GP40-2 going to come back to TSW at some point? No plans at the moment, uh, Maxim. Although it has come dangerously close to getting onto a plan a couple of times. It's it's not there.
Matt, where is the rest of the crew? The Dovetail crew, they're at home. Having a Friday night. If you mean the crew in the train, it's just me. Bad old or slow. Oh, shush, Sifa. Would you ever consider putting a switcher on Sandpatch in CSX livery? I like the idea. Switching is not that popular amongst the whole player base. Um, you know me, I, I'd love that sort of thing, but um, I'm not sure how high of a priority it would be. Two point eight Columbus, so we have a drop to one thirty. Rexy plays uh, will Southern Services stop at Ellswood Hall or Southwards? I don't think they do, do they? Look in the timetable and find out in the real timetable, because I don't think they do. So what's everyone's favourite German train at the moment in the game? If you were going to play a German train today, what would it be? One oh one, one oh one, one oh one, one eight two. Nice. We can do the one eight two next. The red one. Nice, Jamie Dodger. Nice. Full on commitment there. 403 ICE. Mud ECM2 wants a red one as well. Unfortunately, the next train I'm going to drive is a black one, so. 155. See, Big Dog, you know, Big Dog so far the only one. Oh, and Moggy. They're the only ones. And Shrutney. The only ones that have got the right answer. You're all. Everybody else has said something other than 155 is wrong. Um, and you're allowed to be wrong. That's fine. This is an inclusive stream. It doesn't change that you're wrong. Just saying. Uh, 103 would be fun, wouldn't it? We'll pump up to the 140 again. <clears throat> hey there, just to help Ellie, how are you doing? Why are the add-ons £25? Honestly, you have to ask someone who de determines pricing and marketing and all that stuff. That's not me. I just make sure we make it. Right. Accelerating up now to the locomotive's top speed on the route. Well, it's the top speed ever. It's the top speed it can do, 160. I'm not doing bad, just hillbilly. Annoying little 90, 90 kilometers an hour, yeah. Have I already played the G6? No. I should have done, to be honest, by now, but I've just been so busy with Sherman and Chemnitz that uh, I haven't had a chance to look at the G6 yet. I've seen lots of uh, footage on it and so on and so forth, but uh, I've not actually uh, had a look myself. Somewhere down here, there it is, there's a yellow triangle. <laughs> Didn't make it 85, I was too relaxed on the brakes. 
I did wonder. <laughs> Should have been breaking into that one. If you get a trip like this, by the way, all you do is once you've stopped, press end. Job done. That's all you need to do. There's no difficulty getting the train started again. You just press end and wait for the brakes to get released. Just waiting for the brake pipe to come up. Brake cylinder to go down, which it will as the brake pipe comes up. Which it will do much quicker if you take the brakes off, of course. Uh, Oggy, um, I think there's been two or three updates to London Brighton, so. There will continue to be updates to it. I'm not sure what's been worked on at the minute. Why do I drive with 100% power applied? Where are you seeing that I'm driving with 100% power? Before you buy it, assuming that self main rail fan, please be aware that at this point in time, we don't know if, if and when that will be released. Joe is working on that in his spare time, and he doesn't have a lot of spare time. So, your safest bet is to assume it won't be released at this point, and then be pleasantly surprised when it does. 11 clicks to go, speed limit back up. Oh, the uh, this one, the force selector. I dropped it down a bit earlier on because it was wheel slipping. What happened to the reworked LIR timetable? Um, it's exposed the signalling um, not being so great um, much more so on the much busier timetable so um, I'm waiting for a, uh, a window for someone to have, have a look at the, uh, the signals Uh, loco brake is on minus 100%, meaning it's released, Mark. Ah, no. Reset. Look, here we go. We've got power coming back again, again now. Matt wax all the buttons. Well, no, I think it's the Q key and the tab key are right next to each other. So, and the microphone is right in the way to where I can't actually see what I'm doing, which is just brilliant. In st standard for the engines, dynamics to shut off when you use the other brakes. Um, essentially, the dynamics don't work properly if the loco brakes are applied. So the SD70 actually shuts them off. Uh, other locos don't shut them off and you're just wrecking the train, basically. Or, or at least having less effective braking. Um, so, um, 
Yes, if you apply the automatic brakes, then the locomotive brakes will come on. But if you bail the loco brakes off, then you, you'll see the dynamic brakes spin back up again. Bad old slow. Do I want to drive Fudless today? No. I've had a busy day with all sorts of things, so I'm kind of just wanting to super chill out tonight. Four kilometres. Why do you look so miserable right now? This is my happy face, mate. <laughs> Everyone else will attest. This is my happy face. I just naturally look like I, I want to murder everybody. I don't, actually. Have I downloaded the Pluto TV app to watch Star Trek on? Not yet, no. Oh, that starts this weekend, doesn't it? I'm kind of loath to start watching it because you kind of know full well there's a really strong chance they'll launch Paramount Plus midway through the season and then stop it and you'll have to then get Paramount Plus to watch the rest of the season. The cynic in me is just really expecting that to be the case and... Um, so I'm kind of waiting to see when it, when the series finishes. I'll uh, I might look at it. <laughs> Star Trek or Star Wars? Difficult, really. They're both they're both suffering from modern adaptations, I think. But Star Trek traditionally. Babylon 5, see now that was class. Totally agree. <clears throat> this is coming into uh, bad, old and slow. It's describing my driving. Oh, quantum leap, good shout. Get doors open. Have a look outside. I've still not finished Babylon 5. Uh, Calidor. I watched it all the way up to the point of when things started to get interesting with the Vorlons, which is probably halfway through the show, and um, and then life happened basically, and uh, I I couldn't watch it anymore, <laughs> and I've never got back to it. Danny even loaned me the the, the uh, all the videos.
I have had a bit of a play with the 612, yes. It's fun. A bit roller coastery. All right, Reinfeld Holst. <clears throat> the one four, I guess you mean the one four three uh, and the one four two, one one two. Yes, they are different on the outside. Although this doesn't fully represent a one one two. I've got to be honest. And a 112, these dials should be much bigger. Um, if you look at the front, it is subtly different, but actually it should be a bit more different than that. You know, it's... Um... <clears throat> so, um, they are different, but the models in the game are not as different as they should be. Right, crank up the power. AC4400 bogey update. Is that not just flipping the bogey? I think there's one, one of the bogeys was wrong, I think. Remember, it has in rotated wrong. Crocodiles, you know, that would be awesome. Fake bean kids. I'm totally with you on that. How far is Reinfeld? Uh, six kilometers. Would Xbox work for Train Simulator 2? Yes, there is Train Simulator 2 for Xbox. All Xboxes. The new horns on SD17 and SD40 are great, aren't they? Audio uh, between Jimmy uh, Milliskai and um, uh, and the audio team. I think they've done an amazing job bringing those in. Hamburg Lübeck is a nice route, CST. I enjoy it. It's a little bit straight, but there are some curves. It's fine. I believe the um, actually it'd be good if someone could just run, you know, confirm that for me. If you run. The first service from on Brighton, which I think is a run from Victoria to Brighton in the Gatwick Express, which always used to crash previously, and just confirm for me it no longer does, because I believe that fix has gone out now. Well, at the moment, the recording of the audio is done as a single entity, uh, Dallas, because of time. Um, but the plan is to um, is to record the bells individually. Um, and then experiment with ways of um, combining and uh, adjusting so forth so that you can actually give each of the bells their effectively their own personality and, and that would mean you could get lots of different K5LA horns instead of just one K5LA horn, for example. Right, coming up to Einfeld Holst. Oh, I couldn't tell you off the top of my head which trains are four locos. Laser jet.
no update on Steam at the moment, folks. When there's an update, we'll definitely let you know. I've no idea what the details are of the service train simulator driver. It's the one that was always getting um, was always being um, raised as an issue, and that we saw in um, crash reports was the first one in the first journey. I think if you do a tutorial and then a service, and that service kept crashing. As soon, basically, as soon as you open the doors at Brighton, you get a crash, which I believe is fixed. No lights on in the wagons. One of these does that, doesn't it? Train lights. There you go. Have we got train lights now? We've got train lights. Now shush. <laughs> When you took the time dynamic break off, it makes a weird sound. It, yeah, what I'd suggest is to avoid that weird sound, put it back into setup, let the engine calm down, and then put it back into off. <laughs> it's at some weird maths where it's trying to go from so, an, an electric system, which is generating effectively negative volts, um, and then trying to play that with the audio of the engine sounds, and um, it goes a bit odd. Right, Lubeck. Put that light out, I was sleeping. Oh, the calling fan will be there once when you're when you're replying the dynamic brakes. It sort of sounds a bit weird if you go from like run, um, run eight brakes, and then you um, and then you just wind it straight back down to zero. You'll find it does some it does some weird audio. When do you think we'll see pictures of the Chemnitz to Dresden route? At some point in the future. Right, so we've got 12 kilometres for Lubeck. <coughs> Disappointed Matt's ears are not showing the PZB status. Yeah, I've not... Uh, I've, I've, these are the um, the ones with the RGB ones, but I've not actually... Um, um, tried to look at programming for it yet. Still play on Sand Patch Trade, Jimmy Dodger. A lot of people still play on Sand Patch Trade, actually. How come you have layers on Xbox One X? Uh, on on what route? Sorry. Is this going to be one of those trademarked ninety-hour-long streams? Yeah. I've already told Nat that this is what's going to happen. Oh, nine kilometres. Not sure what you're asking, Sharon. But yeah, the, uh, my wife's got COVID. Uh, it just pos tested positive today. She's waiting for a PCR test to come through. But she suddenly looks and sounds like something's wrong, so I don't think there's much doubt. I 
What's the counter? You mean this one here? This is the notch of power that's being applied automatically by the system. So this train is driven by speed control, like a cruise control. So I use this lever to put the train to what speed I want. That sets a little um, diamond. You can, can barely see it if I move the speed up. You can see this thing here. So that sets the um, target speed. And then the onboard computer will just apply power on, uh, or, or not to manage that speed automatically. Last gen has less locos because it has shorter trains. So, um, because otherwise, it would just be a parody. If you had four locos and thirty wagons, or thirty freight cars, it would be um, frankly daft. So one of the things I'm doing at the moment to manage my speed is I've turned the force selector up to 120%, which means that the um, it manages the braking force as well as the um, uh, the threat acceleration force. So it means that it's it's much more aggressively holding me to that speed. Whereas at the 100%, it will it won't be quite as aggressive at holding the speed. So when you're trying, you're managing, particularly if you're managing down a hill, if you just bump that force selector up a bit, you might find it a little bit easier for what it gives the um uh, afb a little bit more of a uh, scope to main it to manage that speed but just if you need to stop and start again remember to dial it back down or you'll just be wheel spinning everywhere oh i'm blaming that on you guys <coughs> Oh, it's Jason's fault. I was doing fine until Jason showed up. Fair enough. Let's wait for the brakes to recharge and we'll get going. So are some layers available on certain routes on Gen 8? Yeah, some, some routes have got layers. We don't just wholesale um, delete layers. You know, if we think we can make it work, then we get on with it. Right, let's get going again. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> right, we've got, got a green light in sight so we can release from monitoring. Let's put it up to 90 limit, which is the one that we're about to get. Oh, hello, I forgot to bring that force selector down. The 112 still have its lights on. I don't think it's been changed. Yep. Certainly does. You were trying to get me to miss a seat, but weren't you? What brake is better to use going down? All of them, ladies and gentlemen, except the independent brake. So as you crest the hill... Hang on. As you crest the hill, you want to be um, not doing the speed limit, otherwise it's just crazy town. You want to be, um, so you want to be a bit more cautious. Uh, you want to be spinning down the throttle. You want to be getting a minimum set on your brakes, on your automatic brake, the train brake. And you want to give that some time to bed in. You want to get your dynamic brakes spun up, 10 seconds setup time, remember. 
and then use the dynamic brakes to manage your speed. If you can't manage it without going to silly to silly numbers on your dynamics, then a little bit more on the automatic brake and then wait and let it balance. Remember, any change on your automatic brake can take as much as five minutes to fully come into effect, which is why it's really important that you um, you give it you, know, you give every change time uh, rather than doing everything reactively. You're driving um, thirteen thousand tons down a one and a half percent gradient. You need to be really paying attention. But the other thing you need to remember is that when you apply the automatic brake, you need to bail off the locos, otherwise the dynamic brake won't do anything. So use the independent brake lever to bail off the loco, which releases the locomotive's brakes essentially. I'm on PC, yeah, I'm on my PC. This is my home PC. See you later, Joe. Oh, the broken horn on the 45, that was an, that was an Ed special. It'll be interesting to see what the CPKCS merger does for the licensing side of things. Whether it makes it to where KCS becomes more accessible, because uh, previously they've said no. Um, or does it have the opposite effect on CP, or does it not change anything at all? German roots are all the same. Oh, I beg to differ, Gary. KCS, Kansas City Southern. It's one of the other Class 1 railroads in, in the US, and it's just merged with Canadian Pacific. <coughs> Which is another Class 1 railroad, so it's a pretty impressive merger, actually. German locos aren't all the same, am I? Come on. You know how you hate it when someone says, but that 45 looks like a 37. Is it a Deltic? No, I know the class 55 is a Delta. <laughs> and that's our run to Lübeck. Oh, lovely. Gold medal, as I should.
Right, let's pick another service. Let's do the uh, 182 and we'll go the other way. Timetable. Let's go with summer showers, shall we? A little bit of rain, a whole lot of wetness, a ton of cloud, some winds. Let's just have a little bit of misery. Um, and we will go Lubeck Rothenburg sorts at 11.50. Why not? Let's do that. What well, PC am I on? It's an i7 6th generation, 4 gigahertz, uh, and a 2080 graphics. Which is a bit outclassed, to be honest. I can't upgrade this machine to Windows 11 Silator because of the 6th gen processor. And I've got no plans to upgrade the PC. Because I do more gaming on the Xbox these days on my Series X. Oh, it's a nice rain sound, isn't it? Lovely. Okay. Uh, brakes off. Brim forwards. Uh, headlights. On that one. Actually, let's put the brakes back on briefly. He's a B on. Now, Seafood is in here, isn't it? Sifa is over there. How's a B not isolated? Okay. And a graph up. Circuit breaker closed. Release the brakes. Get some wiper action going on here. Don't need to worry about train lights, the wagons can stay in darkness. High beams. Master switch on. Don't need that. Waiting for the wagons to release their brakes. So it does occur to me. Get it stopped again real quick. Oh no, I have got Pizza B turned on. I did remember. I'm not being incompetent. I just haven't got moving very fast yet. See that or MSA? How do you pronounce MRCE? MRCE. A nice cube, I must say. Do I want to stick with PZBO? Oh, you're probably right, actually. Let's be bold, yeah? Actually, I won't. We're going now, so we'll keep going, but uh, we'll. Uh, We'll try and adhere to PZBU, actually. FIFA. Hey, Miguel. Welcome to the hobby. Hey, King Street, how's it going? Right, 
We're going to release for monitoring because uh, there's nothing up ahead, so it's all good. How heavy is that train? It's a little piddly 670 tons, 350 meters. Nothing compared to Sherman trains. The 8 gigabytes of RAM will potentially struggle a bit. The 1650 should be fine. Won't do, you're not going to bear running it on necessarily top settings, but it'll certainly run it okay. Um, in fact, you probably should be able to run it fairly high if not. A 1650, if I remember rightly, is roughly equivalent to an old 970. And I used to run the 970 on ultra settings, so... You won't necessarily be able to turn the screen percentage up, though. I'd leave that FIFA. at 100%. FIFA. And the i5 processor, again, it depends what sort of i5 processor it is. I imagine it'll be fine. Again, you won't necessarily be able to do the biggest, baddest things, but you'll be able to enjoy the game. Chief Longshing, it will use whatever RAM it needs. I'm not aware of there being any internal Unreal limits. Certainly the game has no limits, but I don't know what Unreal will use in the way of RAM, but it'll use whatever it needs. Have you got Hamburg Lübeck? Because this is this is a train that comes with Hamburg Lübeck. FIFA, FIFA. There's no UK route confirmed at the moment, Oggy. Sorry. Who is the Cifa voice? No idea. Probably from the train itself. Yeah, the first Gatex service, um, Amar. Slava. Will Chemnitz suggest have IC and ICE AI? I think there's a layer for it that's only on Gen 9. Rain cup, the power, actually no, if we're running to PCB. Oh, then we see 90 is fine. 90 is about where we should stay. Hey Melbourne, how's it going? I'm doing good, thank you. It should be there inside Lubeck then, uh, Paul, because like I said, it comes with Lubeck. Either that, you, your download hasn't worked. The blue range on the speedometer, this one is the AFB. It's a speed, the cruise control. So if you look on here, you see where the orange marker is? So as I move the AFB needle around, you can see it moving the, this around. 
Seek similarly, it's moving the target speed. So it's where will it target the speed? It's this lever here that controls it. Uh, Jafer, what was your question? Sorry. A bit of 14L action on the ST70 is just just what the doctor ordered, isn't it, Monda? <laughs> FIFA, FIFA. <clears throat> Reaper, this is Hamburg Lübeck, and we are going Lübeck Hamburg, just to be different. Oh, it's not 14L for G core, is it? Oh, I didn't realise that. First time I've ever heard that. They've got your own so your rule book over there, is there? FIFA. How come the SC70AC doesn't have an e-bell? What I suspect is that it was um, the reference images that were used to make the model, which are the ones that also had the wrong stripe on them, might have been older SD70s which had um, steel bells. And I'm, I'm guessing at some point, just like the red stripe was changed to a reflective yellow one, these bells were all changed to e-bells at some point. So, I mean, it was modelled from photographs, but possibly too early. So later, I must admit, I tend to spend a bit too much time. I'm either on like Dresden or I'm on um, MSB. I'm trying, tending to veer a bit more towards Raw Zeke than I have in the past, but um, I need to remind myself to come back and enjoy Hamburg sometimes. I want all the routes in the game, Montenegro era. There's nothing I don't want in the game. Why 90 kph? Because it's wet, because I'm high, I'm driving freight, I'm considering this to be a, um, uh, a difficult to brake train um, with under PCBU regulation. Even though I forgot to set it to PCBU. PCBU would put, set me limit to 105. And if you're running in brake mode G, then it was set to you to 90 kilometers an hour. What's this? You're right. FIFA, 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 FIFA. <laughs> Sorry? I, can't, I feel hot, but I can't tell how hot because the temperature thing's not working. Oh, you want battery for it? That thing is ever ring like it needs it. Oh, right. Go and get yourself tucked in somewhere and I'll bring it in to you in a minute. <coughs> Sorry folks, be with you in a minute. I have no idea how to use this. I'm guessing I'm not 15.6C. Thirty-six point three. Okay, That's, I don't know if I'm using it right, but it's doing something. Let me go and take it into it. Back in a moment.
apologies, folks. Apologies. Oh. Right. We alright? Good, good. Yeah, you have to stop talking about chasing me. Yeah. Oh god, I'm chasing. Wait for the brakes to come off after that little C for action. There we go. Yeah, in a street it was just wanted to check her temperature and uh, wasn't sure the machine was working. It was. Which actually means that she's not really running a temperature at the moment Deeper. either, which is good. Deeper. thought at least I got a snack. Well you see, funny you should say that, because I did. And I didn't ask for it either, I just took it. Do you know what that means it is? I'll give you a clue, it's seasonal. FIFA. And relevant as well, actually, thinking about it. Food symbol, chaff cakes. <laughs> A mince pie. No. The clue was, let me just say that one more time. I didn't ask for it. I just took it. And it's seasonally relevant. And it's also relevant to what we're doing right now. It's stolen, yeah. <laughs> I like stolen. Stolen is a German, a German uh, Christmas tree. FIFA. If you like marzipan or almond, it's that sort of taste. Horseshoe you close preview? I'm not sure actually. <clears throat> oh, Stalin. I've no idea how it's actually pronounced, to be honest. The German person has never said that word to me. So, as always, I just make stuff up. FIFA. Oh, we feel, we see another train. On such a miserable, miserable day as this. How much sharing of info was there from Sherman to Horseshoe? I don't know. I mean, we've uh, tried to pass on some tips. Skyhood worked on Sherman with us. Um, and, um, but we'll see. I mean, basically, we answer questions when people ask them. Uh, but we also don't want to interfere with the creative process either. <clears throat> They've got access to our whole source repository as well, so they really don't need to ask questions, they can just go and look at them.
Do I know Sweet Caroline by Neil Diamond? Yeah. <clears throat> it's on the Jazz Singer album, isn't it? Going uphill, yeah, we are going uphill. Let's put a bit more power on. Give it a chance of getting to that target speed. Favourite route now? Still Dresden. Dresden Reason. I like all the variety. FIFA. So good. You've got settling snow in Devon. Well, keep it. Keep it there. I don't want it. I did see them putting grit out today around here, but that doesn't usually mean anything. It just means they're a bit paranoid. This lot tend to be either super paranoid and they'll grit it at 10 degrees. Or the snow and ice will be two inches thick and they'll be like... Is it time yet? So they can't make the mines up. <clears throat> I have bus simulator 21. I must admit I've not actually installed it yet. I don't know what are you having for dinner, babe Beacon? Gentle downhill, 39 kilometers to Rothenburg sort. Yes, the SD70 and SD40 are indeed layered onto SPG, yeah. Mostly because they are American trains and that's all SPG is looking for, it doesn't care. SPG's got a very, very basic Pizza. setup for layering, and sorry, substitution. Here in Russia, you had a real blizzard yesterday. Wow. Well, again, you can keep it. Yeah, that's why the site, the Clinchfield SD40 is there, exactly. The Clinchfield SD40 says, I am an American diesel with four four axles and X whatever horsepower. And, and Sam Patch Grade says, you had me at American diesel. <laughs> it's a little bit more picky than that, but not much. The SD70 is substituting in for the AC4400. Oh yes, good shout back being kid. The uh, free P, uh, P42 Amtrak anniversary pack thing. I'm going to say pack a few more times. Um, it's free for a limited time. Make sure you've gone and got it for TS1. Paul Wilkinson, after this I will be doing Cathcart Circle and I will be doing one of the circuits. I don't know which one yet. What would I do if I was no longer working at Dovetail? Other than be a bit sad. Um, I've no idea. Never thought about it. Why would I go somewhere else? FIFA.
to be retired. I don't going to happen for a while, to be honest, Joshua. I'd probably stream all day. That'd be quite fun. I could do that. FIFA. FIFA. I'd probably also be making content, be making scenarios and all that kind of stuff. Because I quite enjoy content creation. Yeah, I've done all day streaming before. FIFA. The UP run on SPG in real life. It's not one of their main routes that you, you wouldn't see them. They have no trackage rights on South Patch Grade, but you would see Union Pacific locos in the form of what they call run through power, because the local the, the operators can um, they share and exchange trains all over the place. Um, so you will quite often see trains with incorrect operators because um, if, if they say for example you've got um, a yards that are closer FIFA. together um, and there's a CSX train heading out of a Union Pacific yard or a, Union, a joint yard for example, I don't know, probably a bad example but let's just go with it um, and they need an extra bit of uh, power and they don't have one but there's a Union Pacific loco sat in that site in that yard, then with the um, interworking operations they've got, agreements they've got, they can actually take, they can lease that loco essentially, put it on their train, um, and run it to where they're going. And that way the train is always earning money. Trains that run light engine or anything else are not earning money, and that's just terrible. Um, so it keeps the trains earning money, keeps everybody moving around. Uh, without having to, you know, do complex reorganisations of locomotives. It's a clever system. Why is there no substitution of the F7? Because it's not got enough power, it won't put... So there is a power check, so there's minimum horsepower checks on all the vehicles. And the F7 being half an SD40 um, means that uh, it won't show up. Even, even as a sub, for example, for a GP38, it's just not got enough... It, it doesn't meet the HP requirement. I think that's why the MP15 doesn't show up as well. But the F7 is better looking. <laughs> well, I'm not going to argue with you there, that's for sure. <laughs> More train. FIFA. Oh yeah, there are mods to do anything. Once you're editing files, obviously anything's possible. What would you do if you lose subscribers on your YouTube channel? I lose subscribers on my YouTube channel all the time. Not uploading for a for years is a good way to do that. Doesn't bother me. People got other things they want to watch, then they should watch that. Certainly not going to cry about it. Well, not publicly anyway. Possibly a little bit to myself at night into my pillow, but. <laughs> do you get hate comments? All the time. What you gonna do? Just ignore them. Why don't you upload on YouTube? Because I'm busy. I'm busy. Making YouTube videos is not a five minute job. And I would rather spend that time playtesting content or providing feedback or doing designs or sleeping.
Kiefer. No, I don't take it personally. It doesn't bother me in the slightest. It's like you just, you get trolls, you ignore them. More passenger train, although he's not going anywhere, but what are you doing? Oh, he's probably waiting for me. <laughs> Sucker. One more grunk content, Moggy. Wow. That's no surprise. <laughs> grunk, grunken. Down at 25 kilometers now to Rothenburg, so it's a terrible day, isn't it? All this rain. We've got no passengers to go and harass on this train either. Do I have an iPhone? No! I've got on the Galaxy S21. FIFA, FIFA. Uh, will we see more weather locals in the future? The licenses make it tricky to do. A little bit tricky. They're not a particular fan of weathering. Um, we get away with a little bit. Um, I mean, sometimes we try and push it and they push back. Um, but. On the whole, it's much easier to do weathering on, for example, British Railroad trains. Because the Department for Transport don't mind as long as the logos are not abused. FIFA. Yeah, the weathering level on the ST70 and the ST40 are pretty spot on. No, I'm just drinking a cheap lemon, Lisa. cheap can of le Lisa. lemonade, just Tesco lemonade. Get bored of Pepsi all the time. Looks like pets. FIFA. <clears throat> you got an eyebrow, baby bean kid. Nice. I do like a bit of eyebrow. Unfortunately, it likes me less these days. It doesn't really sit well with me when I drink it. So I dial it back and have it as a treat every now and again. You know, rather than basically injecting it into the uh, getting in the way. iron brew system and mixing it with the blood. Well, this lemonade actually tastes of lemons, so. It's reasonably uh, okay, rather than just being oddly flavoured fizzy water. <laughs> I 
Sisa. Sisa. Because now I'm going to be self-isolating at home for a couple of weeks. I've got to get the uh, I've got to get my Dolce Gusto working again. Uh, I bought myself a uh, a descaler box so I can because uh, it's it's not working very well at the minute. Sepsis, I know it's on the wrong PCB mode. It's why I'm adhering to 90 kilometres an hour regardless. It took us a while to get going, and once we got going, I didn't want to stop to change it. Dandelion and burdock is lovely. I only drink it every now and again. Because again, it's like the first can is like the elixir of the gods and the second can Sisa. is the... Sisa. Uh, so I'm considering this uh, TSWTYT channel as if I have got uh, mode G brakes due to the rain. I mean, the train's not long enough or heavy enough to justify it, but because of the rain and the lack of adhesion, um, I'm treating it as though it's mode G brakes, which would limit me to 90 kilometers an hour. FIFA, FIFA. Cream soda is lovely, especially with a dollop of vanilla ice cream in it. <clears throat> Seventy kilometres, relatively straightforward run. There's not a lot to, uh, but we're running it quite slow, so. Yeah, my wife got tested positive on COVID and uh, she's feeling particularly rubbish now. So uh, it's probably a, uh, a good match. Waiting for a PCR test just to confirm it, but the uh, um, it seems likely. So we're all isolating now. Double jabbed. Probably isn't long till she gets her third because she's on the um, she's on the risk list because of her diabetes. Sisa. Actually, she's on the risk Sisa. list for about three or four different reasons. That's just because they've met you, Muggy, to be honest. Fourteen kilometers. Yeah, indeed, the COVID should be quite mild, yeah. FIFA, FIFA. Uh, the PZB mode for Talent 2, so we have it fixed, and I'm trying to, uh, it's in, in the Preserve Crew, it's got a little bit of a backlog now of stuff that needs to go through QA. Now, I know that um, Adam has been talking with QA this week about uh, now that um, Sherman is off their plate to see whether or not he can uh, get some of this stuff in through QA and out, and I know that one's high on the list. 
Sisa. Sisa. What are we hauling? Cars, OTG374. Layers wagons with cars. Let's find somewhere and park it. Sifa, Sifa. Well, they despawn too. <laughs> Haven't so far. But they lend these trains are tiny. This thing is only, well, what, 350 meters? Which is nothing. Yeah, it's near 64. FIFA. FIFA. BR101 hype. FIFA. <clears throat> Should do some West Cornwall at some point, totally. Not doing it tonight. We're doing Hamburg, follow by Cathcart, follow by Peninsula Corridor. Well, look at some of the videos we've done in the past episode. We've run it three or four times now. Now, at some point in the Lisa. not too distant future, Lisa. we're going to get diverted, I think. Because we come off the main line to head down to Rothenburg, so. Yeah, where for some reasons a couple of those, a couple of scenarios are not quite working as well. So, Scott, uh, I think Adam has been working on fixes for those. Not got a clue what I'm going to do yet, Jason. Feel free to suggest. I want to do a circuit. I want to do two. I'm going to do class 31 running one Z96 afterwards. But first, I want to do the 314 um, doing a uh, one of the circuits. Who do I like from the Dovetail crew? I like everybody. Big B kid. That was a secret. How come I don't use my own channel anymore? I just don't have enough time. I'm streaming on this channel usually three uh, three days a week. Um, and um, the days I'm not streaming, I'm generally working late or trying desperately to catch up FIFA. on sleep. FIFA. All right, here we go. 
Again, PCB indications are not what I'm following because I'm I had PCB set incorrectly, so I'm assuming PCB mode um, U regulations, which means my speed limit at the moment is 55. Actually, it's 40 because it's a f signal coming up, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, donkey. This will be us crossing over then, that's why we've been slowed down. Probably this junction? Yeah, this junction we're going to be switching over. And then we'll take a left on, dive off of the uh, uh, this line, off the main line and head uh, south. The car horn, the meep meep, that's the train length um, uh, the thingy. So if you just go, um, so if we say at this junction, for example, FIFA. FIFA. if I go beep beep, like that and then when the back of the train crosses that junction it'll go meet me There's that junction, see? I don't know what happens with Mega Sim MSA. Um, that'll be a different department looks after that. That's where the line swings off to the left. When do you start to work every day? Uh, I have a nine o'clock meeting every day. So I'm normally into work at 8.59 or thereabouts. Sometimes 8.30, but normally 8.59. <laughs> Right track. I'm making speed up when it meet meeps. Speed up. FIFA. A couple of kilometres into the freight yard now. So if you're not familiar with the map, essentially 
this is the line, main line. This is Hamburg here, and Rothenburg sort of comes off down this area here. Yeah, just working from home while isolating Morocom, yeah. It's kind of inevitable that it's, well, I'll catch it at some point. So, take a test every day and, uh, yeah, I've got the heater on baked bean kid because it was freezing in here. The heater's made a nice difference, actually. It's tolerable now. Microphone's getting in the way, can't see what I'm doing. FIFA. Steve, you're going for the uh, the American freight route, I see. We're stopping in 1.6 kilometers. I thought we should probably at least make some sort of an effort to slow down. Right, given I'm in, well, I'm in PZBO, so actually the uh, 500 hertz will be 60 kilowatts an hour, but uh, I'm going to uh, get down to the 25. FIFA. Yeah, I've seen the Caltrain's getting electrification. They're getting Stadler units as well, aren't they? Remember rightly, they're EMUs, the double deck of Stadlers. Two I fifteen one fifteen. Thank you. Oh, we've got another one waiting to go. Oh, look at that! It's a container. It's actually a container hauling containers. Interesting. Yes, Jeff Marshall came to the uh, FIFA. DTG office. FIFA. Yeah. We talked to Baker Line. I've never really seen them up close and personal, Melbourne, but I like driving them in the game. I know it's a bit sad when things move on, but by the same token, I'm also really happy there's progress. FIFA, FIFA. Come on. You can do it. You can do it.
Oh, I got kicked straight out. I was just like, oh, you took so long. Still got gold medal, though, you know. Right, okay. Next, we are switching to Cathcart Circle. Jason's come up with uh, two India 15 as our service, so we'll do that. Right, where's Cathcart Circle? There it is. Explore timetable. 314. Let's do it in November again, but we'll just put a bit of cloud on it this time because I'm bored of the rain. Making me upset. Right, 2 India 15. At 115, did you say? I think you said 115. Let's go with 115. Yeah, the Taurus is well known for being a musical train. Right, come on textures, load, thank you. Okay. So, things. Uh, let's put a bit of break on. Uh, let's put the headlights on. Let's put the key in and put it into forward. And around here, we need that one on. And we need to open the doors, which is that one. Right. Destination route light needs to be on. Good, good. If I was driving the train, you'd probably get off and not on, to be fair. Why do I put it? It was twice lighted. I put it on. Where's the closed door button then? What am I missing here? Where's the closed door button? I'm sure there was a closed door button. Oh yes, it's up here. Oh, I remember now. Been a while, been more than five minutes. Right, coming out of Glasgow Central, heading for Polar Shields. No, epic, epic stuff only runs on the epic version of the game, yeah. What am I eating? We had this debate earlier on. It's, it's called Stolen. It's a German Christmas tree. And 
I made a joke about using the, you know, paraphrasing it to the word stolen. And everyone really loved it and wanted me to make more jokes. They did. No, no, they did. Speed limit will go again a bit. You said earlier on that you were off school today. It's an inset day or something. Yeah, I think there's a, is the autumn sale on at the moment. It's pestering me about something whenever I fire it up. Spend more money with us. No, I'll get in trouble. quarters of a mile to Pollock Shields. Richard Train wanting to know about everyone's feedback on the Long Island. Yeah, let him know folks. Tell him what you think. I won't answer it on account of being incredibly biased, but Would I rather drive the 314 or the 313? I like this route, so probably this. Right, coming into Pollock Shields now. Just run after this bridge. How come non-player trains can't blow horns? Um, they don't have the logic to be able to do it correctly. You know, whether you're going to apply a rule 14 or, you know, if you're going to, it seems to me, if you're going to make trains blow the horns, they should blow them at the correct times and for the correct reasons. You'd do a censure at the whistleboard, but then it would need to know um, what to do. You know, so if it's an American one, it would then need to work out from the whistleboard based on the current speed 
applying the 14L pattern and then you look at the there's rules about how long that pattern can be allowed to execute for you know for no more than x seconds in total I think at least in some areas um, so you know if you look on videos of trained engineers doing uh, rule 14 else it's kind of like sometimes they rattle them off really quickly other times they're um, they're a bit long more drawn drawn out so there's also things I don't fully understand like for example if you've got three level crossings one after the other do you, are you constantly 14 Ling through all of them over and over again or I wouldn't want to live there I've got to be honest if that's the case I like trains but there's liking trains and hating yourself Don't get many requests for Toronto, to be honest, to explain pro. I mean, there's people who, who wish Oakville had gone to Toronto. And yeah, it would have been good, but given we haven't got the Go license, that's a challenge. Is it Go? can't remember now. Richard Train. Oh, because I, 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 I'm, I'm, I've got the Steam chat open, but uh, no one is saying anything, and it says there's no viewers, so I don't know if it's working. Go Transit, that's it. Station Shawlands. Not doing your homework for you, ever say. Jeez. Why do I always drive with the stop markers on? Yeah, I should turn them off. Really, I? Let's turn them off. Turn them off. There you go. Actually, should we go? Monty. So current speed limit is 40 in a mile and a half. We are dropping to 20. Just keep an eye out for that sign. Uh, yeah, I think they're working on fixes for 187. I don't know the detail. limit here still keep an eye out because in a mile or so we'll get the warning of the drop to 20 next station is just ahead
Are you always late on services then? Yes, I am pretty much, yeah. Stations Langside, still 40 limit. This is lang side rather than stopping on the short side. Oops, slightly overshot my stop board. looking half a mile now to the drop and it goes back up to first uh, 40 again Oh, there's lots of opportunities as bad. Oh, we're about the halfway mark on this line now. Of course, yes, the 20 is at the junction. Round the corner. And keep going round to Cap Cap. Oh, everything will probably happen tonight at some point. There'll probably be some fish fans going to sea, you never know. I'm only at 6296. Oh, I haven't left Cathcart yet, though, so. Still puts me behind, you know. Got 
now. Yeah, six, seven, nine, six. Mount Florida, change here for football services. Well, football, football. <laughs> 35. Well, it was probably Tat's fault. If in doubt, it was probably Tat's fault. You just redefine success, Amor. That's all it is. Just redefine success, and you can never fail to win. my leap motion would shut up I don't care that there's a smudge on it go away still in a 35 I think yeah 35 dropping to 30 going up to 40 No, the Scottish announcer was someone from Rivet, I think. What do you need to do to get the Go license? I have no idea. That would be a question for uh, one of the licensing team. Biggest thing licenses don't, license holders don't like is people crashing trains. They don't want to see their brands being crashed. <laughs> no, Spadins the failing is actually more of a technical constraint because beyond the red light, it's like dark territory. The, the um, there's nothing allocated for you beyond there, and once you get into there, it has no logic to be able to recover from it. So essentially, the, you've got to think of a red light as a brick wall, and if you run through that brick wall, the game can no longer cope with it, essentially. And that's why it insta ends. Queen's Park, 30 limits. Going up to 40 limits.
We're starting to get some of the overlap code in now, am I? But like all things, it's just these things take time. What's going on, man? Get out of there. You're at the wrong side of the yellow line. If you're going to be messing about inside the platform, please do it on the right side of the yellow line. Some people. Forty limit? No, thirty-five limit. Slowing down as we go into Glasgow. I like this route. This is a great little route for uh, keeping you on your toes and uh, doing lots of stop-start stuff. It's like Bakerloo, but without the underground. red light as a starter signal here. Along. That's mine, I've got the green lights. Right, speed limit is just about to drop to thirty. dropping to 30. Straight shot from here to uh, Glasgow Central. So it's down to 25. Drive any real train on any route. I kind of like to drive 395. They look kind of fun. Didn't Miss Samba make me a birthday cake as well that year? I seem to remember a Minecraft birthday cake. It was awesome.
Right, got the uh, signal that's off, got the green. Hello, Mrs. Emma. Ooh, getting four real train drivers a head to head, crouching tiger. Mmm, I'm gonna make that happen. That needs to be done. Right. Fifteen through here. Oh, hey, Dad, Rowell, I didn't see you there. But yeah, I think I like that idea. Both the simulator drivers versus the real drivers, but also just having a real drivers versus real drivers. Leave it to the pros type stream. I think that would be fascinating. Everyone comes up with the same score. Yeah, that's what I'm expecting. Bring the speed up to the 15. Turn the HUD nonsense back on again now. Oh. Yeah, you beat me by about 200, po 100, 100, 200 points, I should think. I'm probably going to come in at... Uh, 12018 <laughs> annoys me as well as Thank you. Yeah, twelve oh one eight. Nicely done, Jason. Right. Uh, I was going to do the 31. Bit of wind. Doing 1Z96 because I've not done this one before. Good night, Nigel. Drive the trail tour service originating at Bowness from Glasgow to Nielston. Oh, look at this. I like me a bit of 31. Not tail light, root indicator lights can go on. That one's on. 
Doors open. Put the key in first, shall we? There we go. Listen to that sound. Oh my god. A duff action going on the back here. Where are the lights? They're rear, aren't they? No. Where are the lights on this thing? on the back. That's brake selector. Ah, oh, tail lights. Yeah, there you go. But I don't want left hand, right hand. I want all of the tail lights on. Doesn't help me now, does it? Would it only be one of the lights then on the tail? Yeah, let's set that one going. You know what that'll do. Here all day. Yeah, it's a work of art, the station, isn't it? Came out really well. So this one is to Nielston, I think. Yeah, this is Nielston, which is... Uh, I can't actually see it from anywhere it's going. But 
think it's to the right. Oh yes, Cameron, yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight hundred yards to Pollock Shields. And then down to Neilston. And one big go. It's just go bars. Speed limit currently 35. I do it all the time as well, colour doors, so don't worry. <laughs>
Oh, sit have a nice sleep while we finish this journey. Yeah, we need to get that go via as a different icon, don't we? It's kind of annoying at the moment. <laughs> hey, Tesla, how's it going? Can you look outside of the coaches? When does the HST go to Clapham Junction? I can't remember the times of it. And on one of the previous streams, I stumbled on it. One is one of my favourite locos as well, Silator in the game. It's uh, I've always had a soft spot for the 30, uh, 31. I've got double O gauge model of it as well in this livery. This an actually a scenario. It's not a scenario, Carl. This is in service mode. There are two rail tour services you can run the diesels with. Just pick a diesel, and all you'll be given is the rail tour services. These days, I must. I, I like the scenery on Sherman Hill. I think it looks really good for the area. But outside of Sherman Hill, I was quite taken by Clinchfield. I quite like what Clinchfield looks like. San Fran is good. Yeah, it doesn't stand out to me. I mean, it's a very well done route. In in my opinion, um, but um, the general scenery doesn't stand out to me particularly. You know, it's a, the real route rather than the. Uh, yeah, Cane Creek was stunning, yeah. 
that really um, set a standard which hopefully everything everyone agrees we've lived up to I think in Sherman Know if the banking com is all working properly, um, double click. The thing to do is to, um, before you set off, go and have a look at the, if you um, flip the camera to the back of the train, operate the throttle using the, the A and D keys or your controller, and see if the rear train's controls move as well. If not, then you then they're just dead weight. They're not getting contributing any power at all. Six miles to Neilston. No, there are no rail torches in the Mark 1 coaches because we, you can't top and tail with vacuum brake stock, which makes rail tours a lot more difficult. Double clean. The other thing that's worth doing is when you get moving, once you're doing about five miles an hour, cut the power and see whether you roll or whether it comes to a stop telling you you're dragging brakes. it down the uh, branch line. Those trees, I think they're what, beets or something? They always make me smile because they look like they're purple. One thing I really, really, really want to do, really want to do, is get is to upgrade Sam Patch's timetable to 100 car trains. I think that'd be fun. Silver birch, that's it. I knew it was something like that. Beach birch, you know, not that far out.
Yeah, Klitschko will be another potential as well, Derek, yeah. That timetable's a bit more complicated. There's got more fundamental things that need to be resolved first, like the, the red light standoffs. But yes. Nice. Nice one, Emma. Uh, um, Emma. Okay, so that seems to suggest that that's been resolved, which is good news. Oh, I'm going to unplug that thing, isn't it? Sharp. Do they run DPUs on uh, mid DPUs on 100 car trains, or do they? One of the on over Sherman Hill, the video, um, the DPUs seem to be at the 100 car mark with more than more cars behind. No, because if we did a prize like that, everyone would spend their entire time figuring out how to cheat it. Livery editor work is not finished, my poor nunnery. They've got a lot of work left to do on the livery editor. They're trying to revisit and work out a better plan for it because it's I think, two more years' work or something strange like that. Rail enthusiasts, we are on Cathcart Circle, heading down to Nielsen. And then we are going to switch to the Peninsula Corridor. Tell me about your dreams for multiplayer, Finn. Tell me about your dreams for multiplayer. Because I share those dreams. There are no plans for it. We talked about it a lot in the past, but we've been focusing on other elements of stability and gameplay. But I'd love to know what you think. What would make multiplayer the killer experience? No, but to be honest, the people who are screaming about multiplayer need to calm down. Really? I play Railroads Online, which is all only multiplayer, and none of the fears come to roost. They don't really happen. Everyone just enjoys playing trains. It's very good. Well, indeed, Sonic Scott. Well, single player is never going away, is it? That would be silly. Uh, Derek, I'm actually going to do a bit of GP38 to start off with. On the bench, the corridor, and then do a bit of MP15. That 
woke me up. Ooh. Half a mile for Nielsen. Has Sam done anything else with um, Railroads Online, Liam? I saw um, his first video on it, but I don't know if he's done anything else with it. Uh, well, my game, my, my machine is pausing a bit, so it may be that that caused it to cut out. But yeah, I did hear it cut out here as well. Well, we, whenever we do Peninsula Corridor, we always run the MP36 or the um, F40. And we generally do a 300 service because it gets the runtime down to about an hour and 15 minutes. And I just thought, what else can we do that we haven't done before? You know, doesn't or don't do a lot of. Um, yeah, I saw the GP38 and the um, and I thought, well, we've got to do a bit of MP15 because the MP15 is amazing. on the space bar. Close enough for me. Josh, why does Peninsula Corridor cut out all sound from your Xbox Series X after we start the console to get sounds back? Um, <laughs> it's a problem with the underlying X audio system in the Xbox, and it's to do with how a game has built the sound files. Sometimes there are random things that can be built into a file that cause it to crash the whole audio system. And the output, the, the suggestion from Microsoft is just regenerate the file like 1% different. So, um, so well, that's what we are doing. Um, so I just need to uh, find out when uh, when that will make it out. We had a similar problem with Boston. Is there anywhere that the six one two should layer onto? I can't remember. I don't think there is. Is there? Yeah, Cathar I love the Cathar DLC. I wasn't that sold on it when we originally said we were going to do it, but I really like it now. I really just wasn't sold on it, I just didn't know the area.
I know Skyhook are looking into the BR187. They've done one patch already, trains on GoPro. Um, but I don't know what their plans are. Ah, stop being on the space bar. I don't know what their plans are and when that'll come out. Or what that'll be. So, uh, pose that question on a, uh, on a roadmap stream and uh, hopefully the answer will be what you're looking for. That's us done. More Glod hype. Okay, Peninsula Corridor. Somewhere down here. Too many routes. There it is. And we're doing UP1 southbound empties. Let's just put a, a wee drama cloud up there. UP1 southbound empties part one. It's eight o'clock, so let's uh, put it in the summer. Whether we drop the clouds. We'll do that one. There we go. Still really dark. Never mind. Oh, um, boom. And that one on. And that in there. And that on forward. That round to freight. That on to needle dead. That there. That there. Gauge lights on. Where are we going? Couple up to those cars. Head of train devices on. Leave the alerter off because drive me nuts otherwise. Interesting. Why can't I put power on? It's on run. Well, I'm confused. Apparently the fact that it's red doesn't mean anything. Moving on. Yeah, I don't know why the, the uh, throttle interlock is showing. I need to move my keyboard out of the way. I'm just going to keep hitting the bells. Clinchfield Railways... Uh, Clinchfield Railroad is about 1980s, something like that. It appears it is, Liam. It appears it is.
We are going southbound, so we need to change ends. Woohoo! Right, let's uh, handle off. Handle dead. Take that out. Kill that. Kill the lights. Kill the engine. Kill the gauge lights. Kill the cab light. It's cold and dark. Come on, computer. You can do it. on again over here see what we're doing power on headlights on reverse to in and forwards uh, brakes to freight lead or dead release apply that so we can wait for it gauge lights on cab light off rolling we got signals we're good Nothing like scaring everybody to drive through. It's all right. My beard's all right. Ways to go, yeah. YouTubers, chat had stopped coming through. Can you uh, say something again so we can prove it works? Okay, 
There we go. Uh, trains on GoPro, yes, that could be looked at. Um, get get details to me. DM me on the forums. Oh, I forgot the number lights on this one. I did. Where's going to be the most awesome place to be discovered? Right. Extra points if you can get the reference. As long as you're getting what you want out of it, Calador, that's all that really matters. Sometimes I like to drive it hardcore, sometimes I like to just chill. Restream Bright is what's making the stream go out onto multiple streaming systems. We're streaming on Twitch, YouTube and Steam simultaneously. And Restream Bot does that. No, Steam Chat isn't really saying an awful lot. They're just so awestruck with my awesome driving, I think. Got an advance approach up there. No, Steam isn't part of the uh, sync either. There are two PC updates went out today for Sherman Hill, Liam. First update fixed the bell on the SC70 ACE. Second update um, was a few frames per second performance improvement that we found.
My first ever train simulation run was an Amtrak Acela coming out of Washington, if you remember right, yeah. or an MSTS. It's like I was I, so hyped for the Flying Scotsman steam on there. I was just like, now let's look at all of the other routes first and then enjoy that one last. Sorry, yes, Southern Bell and Evening Star. Yes, 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 Monkey, of course. You can't remain awake anymore. Good night, Roy Fonseca. <laughs> what was the issuing call with the bell? I don't fully understand it, but it's essentially the Bell uses a new audio, no, sorry, the SC70 uses a new audio system we've been developing, which is not about how audio sounds, but about how they can create the audio or the, the way it's authored. Um, and um, the Bell relied on a fix needed for that core audio system. So it's not so much a fix for the Bell, it's a fix for the feature the Bell needed if you follow what I'm saying. Cameron Young is because it's broken. It's put simply. I don't know if the 232 is actively being worked on, but it's still on the list uh, for, that Mike is working on, yeah. Can only do one thing at a time. Well, we've got to do a tour three, to be fair, but... <clears throat> Essentially, as we move a loco and redo it and reuse it, then the audio is being rewritten in the new system. It doesn't it? Shouldn't change how the audio sounds at all. Um, it, what it does is it makes it easier to offer. Currently, all the audio is done in what we call the rail vehicle view, um, where all the graphics are as well, which is fine and technically that's a completely accurate way of doing it. What it means is that only one person can work on a loco at a time. You can't have an audio engineer and a loco setup engineer working on a loco simultaneously. So we've split it out and we now have a rail vehicle audio system. Um, and then the rail vehicle view just links in the rail vehicle audio and the two just work. You, two people can now work on it um, concurrently. So it's a much better system. Before it was just an awful lot of I can't do anything because he's got the files and I can't do anything because they've got the files and they didn't give me the files back in time and oh, man. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, Ryan's a beta tester uh, mod. Oh, uh, Derek. But. <laughs> Where else can we go? Big old trains. Oh, I love them. Weren't I supposed to what, Liam? Forty five limit coming up. Ah, oh, we're going to Redwood. Oh, that is the actual stop at. get to their bedroom view. But your bedroom view. There you go. Oh nice the shadows. Fence, who put this fence here? Like that's inexcusable. If I lived there that'd be first thing that would go.
fences there, nice. <coughs> Cheers, see you later something, Scott. We don't do building collision on things like that because they can be quite expensive and there's an awful lot of them that would need to get doing if you're going to do any. So we let the free, you let you put your free camera anywhere you want by and large. What we do is there's a, a wall at this distance. So that's the camera distance out there. So this would be the outer camera distance, and then there's an inner channel normally, which would usually be a spent sort of level, which is the walking uh, wall. Right, let's uh, sit in the bus stop. Oh, hello. What's all this nonsense about going so fast? Who did that? Who's messing with my train controls? See you later, Emma. Gareth, we're on Peninsula Corridor. Do you mean like making Sandpads great have longer trains back, guy? In which case, yes, it's been considered, and it's one of those things on the big list of, oh, I'd love to do that. If only there were 48 hours in a day. Um, I might do it over Christmas holiday, to be honest. Because I kind of want to do it. I want to see it. I want to drive it. Five point three miles. Why not GT Salmon? What would it take to make sandpads create longer uh, formations? Um, all the formation files need, uh, need their formations rebuilding to be longer versions of themselves, essentially. Then you recompile the timetable, which is just pressing a button. Then you go and fix everything that's now broken. So some things will now be, you know, need their start points moved further along so that they don't go off into buffers or out of the end of the route or something. Um, once you've got all the start points corrected you then need to look at all the waypoints and make sure that they've now got room in where they're going and adjust them accordingly and then you, when you re-simulate the timetable you'll then need to look at where all the new freight timings because all the trains will be a lot slower than they were before um, so you'll need to think about the, uh, the, the times of the, um, of the trains and how long they'd need to be done. No, the brakes are fine, uh, Derek. It's 
uh, and people are saying there's new brake physics and the I guess the kind of are but um, I mean that's where it goes outside my ability you know I, I, I don't know anything about the physics so if it, if the uh, sand patch trains and uh, vehicles um, need um, their brakes redoing then yeah that, that means it probably won't happen I can do the timetable stuff that's easy time consuming but easy 3.7 miles? What do you mean I'm still going it? It's only 3 hours and 35 minutes? It's a short stream so far. The HSP 46 is something we talked about doing. We haven't got any reference for it though, which is a problem. Head out camera has indeed... All, all external cameras have been disabled when you're in the underground section of Baker Luke Jason, yeah. Because they don't fit in the tunnels. And they end up causing all sorts of oddness. No, I told Nat I was doing a long stream. She actually, when she put the post in, um, she um, she actually said, Matt says this is going to be a long stream, so get your snacks in. So... Anything's possible, Morrisville, but, you know, it's... We think about an awful lot, um, but we can't make it all in, in an instant, so... Yeah, well, it's their, it's their flagship loco, isn't it? Derek 46. Yeah, we're doing another one after this, uh, Ed, yeah. No, doing the uh, MB15 on Peninsula Corridor. Doesn't that tell you off if you stream so long? Well, in in the nicest possible way. Which is, yeah. <laughs> now, when they asked me if I wanted to do this stream tonight. Um, I said, right, this is going to be a long one then because I fancy just kicking back and enjoying the game. I don't really get a lot of time to do that these days, so an opportunity like this is, yeah, I'm, that's it, I'm playing the game, you're not going to stop me. Digital display above the dials. This is called a head of train device. This is the brake pipe at the end of train. So that's the end of train device, brake pressure. Um, and then this is accelerometer. So plus or minus, how whether I'm speeding up or slowing down. Gallery cars up ahead. Well, that's just it. When I play at work, you know, I've got notepad open and I'm hunting around and I'm looking for things and maybe playing it multiple times over to try different things out or things like, you know, to. Whereas when I'm playing for fun, I don't have notepad open. I'm just enjoying driving trains. And that's not to say I don't enjoy driving trains when I'm doing it at work, but it's about what your mind is focused on. Do we have any junctions to set? Nope. 
generally don't when it's the first route out of uh, into the main, into the uh, yard space. No, I'm literally not taking notes, bad guy. I mean, I'm mentally maybe taking notes, but um, no, if I have notepad open, then I'm working. And I have to draw a line somewhere, otherwise I'd never stop. It seems like I never stop anyway, but you want to see the cab with a cab light on? Morrisville, you're enjoying Boston Sprinter, are you? That's good. Yeah, go for it, Liam. Me too. I think the horns have come out really well, Derek. We will find the end at some point. Except when, when someone took hold of my train and made it do silly things. It wasn't me. It totally wasn't me. You can't prove a thing. Right, last one for the night is MP15. Again, let's uh, July it. A little bit of cloud it. And I want extra five, did I say? Yeah, extra five. Hey, Blue on Blue. It is a late stream. We've been running for about three and three quarter hours. All right. So, continue the southbound maintenance of way move from Redwood, delivering cars to Newell Yard before returning the switcher back to the Central Equipment Maintenance and Operations Facility. Right. Uncouple vehicles.
back up. We've got all the lights. Excellent. Right. That's on. That's in. That's backwards. Front headlights, we'll put them on. Uh, cut in. Release. Release. Uh, number lights on. No, I don't think this is the rescue run, uh, uh, Jan. Yeah, there's a rescue run with the MP15, yeah. Uh, send me a DM, Mark Lee, uh, wait, click on the forums. I'll forget now. Um, yeah, but it might take a couple of days to get a response. Depends how long you've, you've left it. But you shouldn't need to pay for anything again. If you've already paid for it, you shouldn't need to pay for it again. So don't do that. stream. Thank you very much. I'm just going to go and get these three cars, hook them up and take them down as a down south end of the road. Hey Leroy, glad you're enjoying it.
there's some really fun stuff on the MP15. I'm a little bit biased because I wrote a lot of it, but the MP15 scenarios and gameplay, I didn't do the scenarios, I did all the service mode stuff. Um, but the, uh, it's fun, fun loco. Whereabouts are you exploring adventures? Yeah, um, blue on blue, the, um, the MP15, um, it does a combination of freight, like this one, where there are two northbound and two southbound. Um, it does rescue, um, it does... Um, a make up and break up of the um, Martin Luther King train, which is double the normal length of the trains. It combines two trains into one, so it's double header loco, um, plus all the coaches, less one of the camp cars. Can't remember, there's a bunch of other stuff in there. So 20 or so, 20 or so services for it, and they're all unique. Gotta run back up behind that signal again. Oh no, well, what's, what's it gonna do? What's the plan here? We're gonna stop there. Oh, well, then we're gonna pull. Oh, yes, the idea was that um, you'd stop here, uncouple, put these three on the front, and then um, and then come back. That was the idea. We wanted to add these three to the front of that, list, that little lot here. Yeah, second cab car is still in the middle of the train, yeah. Is it? Maybe it is then. Why do the brakes sometimes not release when you couple up? Make sure that you've got freight, uh, cutout valve set to freight and MU2A set to lead or dead. If you do that, you shouldn't have any problems. Oh, sometimes what can happen is that it looks like it's all released, but when you try and pull away, it's not acting like it. Recouple, just uncouple and recouple. If the angle cocks aren't automatically opening, absolutely had no luck trying to reproduce that issue but yeah sometimes randomly the ankle cocks don't open which is all done automatically which means the air stay is all bottled up the cab car in the middle there. That's the uh, MLK, MLK special. Nah, it doesn't need an MSTS shuffle, is it? We've got to go and get those other freight cars. Yeah, it's a, it is the... Um,
around and uh, knuckle up. What I will do, real quick, is make sure this knuckle is open. As long as one of them is open, it will couple. See if we pull away, okay. See, this is a good example. This is where the air brake hasn't actually worked properly, though. So, notch three, and it's not pulling away, or but barely. Yeah, the brake cylinder's at zero. As soon as I take the power off, it just comes to a stop. And that's because the brake hasn't merged, as an uh, angle clock hasn't worked. So you go the one that joined, which we were three cars in, and recouple it. And now to put the power on. Maybe it's just us need a bit more power. Because we are on a grade, I guess. Yeah, that is okay. Yes, Joe's still going. What we'll do is when we get on the on the level, we'll, support, we'll cut the power and see if it stops. You can't really do a stop test if you're on an uphill quake. <laughs> of course it's going to stop. Suggest that one wasn't working right. Or that one maybe? Interesting. Right, okay. nearly 1% gradient, so it'll need a little bit more power. Come on, this way round. Yeah, it's not scree squealing anymore.
Nah, we'll be good. We'll be good. Just need to get a bit of momentum going. Right, Mr. Sulu. No, not at all, Liam, because it needs to happen while the debuggers looking at all of the um, angle cocks will break points set on so they can find out why it's not resetting. It's a really, really fine timing thing on it. Like, it might be doing the angle cocks a frame too early sometimes before it's actually coupled. Or something daft like that, I don't know. I could probably turn the headlight off now, can't I? Let's go ahead and turn the headlight off. It's not helping anybody. Not too tired. I'm getting a bit tired. I'll be looking... I'm, I'm, I will be finishing after this one. No, the, the log files don't help me, Liam, not on this issue. I mean, the public version of the game doesn't really produce much in the way of log. The dev version of the game produces a heck of a lot of log, but even that. Accelerometer, the brakes are off, we're not getting any drag. Which is good. Uh, it's Laker, um, this will be the last one. So, another 12 miles. Am I avoiding coffee because of PC? No, I'm not really avoiding coffee at all. Unofficially. <laughs> now at the moment my coffee machine isn't working. It needs to be scaling. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow.
So we don't populate the freight yards with lots of stuff because it will drag the frame rate down quite considerably on the Gen 8 consoles. Now that we're doing custom timetables for Gen 9, we probably would do a Gen 9 timetable that has um, you know, more populated yards in it across the board. I don't know whether there'll be time to do that on this, I doubt it. Is this the longest Matt stream? Are you kidding? I've done 24 hour streams. Not on this channel, but... Oh, hello. That'd be the northbound one. I've done two 24 hour streams and multiple 12 hour streams. Oh yeah, they were 15 hours, sorry, weren't they? They were 15 hours. <laughs> yeah, the 24 hour streams are murderously bad. Murderously bad, they're horrible. Twitch don't even, won't even support them anymore. You can do them, but you won't get any support from them. I enjoy streaming, yeah, I really do, I miss it a lot. That's why I jump at these kinds of opportunities for this kind of thing. Single stream was the first one, Morricon. We raised a bit over, just over six thousand. Yeah, I think it's about twenty or thirty thousand in total that we've raised. At the beginning of COVID, we did a um, stream there, and we think we did fifteen or sixteen hundred quid for each of the uh, two charities, the NHS and the Médecins Sans Frontières. It all helps. It wouldn't happen to be the editor one, would it, yeah? <laughs> yeah, that doesn't mind. Was that the stream where you took it? Six point eight miles. Right, whose bedroom window looks accessible? Yours does. Uh, no, no wall. <laughs> I don't 
remember ever falling asleep on the stream. But then would I, I guess? Plenty of instances where I was desperately trying to keep myself from falling asleep. Office rail fan. Close enough. Don't tree. Draw tree. It's like they don't think about these things when they make trees. It's probably there in the real world too. Because they don't think about it in the real world. Us rail fans, yeah. We want to see trees. We want to see trains, not trees. Can confirm, Joe. I used to work on an office right next to the um, the line just about between Waterloo and Vauxhall. And um, yeah, if there was a steam rail tour going by, nothing got done by me anyway. Everybody else looked at me, popped from their desks, and was like, "Really." Like, really? Just get back to what you were doing. I saw a tornado go by. So once there was a couple of the... Uh, a uh, double header black five went by. Oh, it's lovely. It's seven floors up as well, so you got a decent view. to go. Relatively straightforward journey this way. Boing. 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 Ooh, stay happy in the air. Floating while train goes by. Priorities. Boing. Oh, we fell out. Ouch. Oh, got an ambulance. Ow. Why does it feel like we've lost a bit of the train and it's dragging along the side?
Exactly, we're actually the same people as it is. <laughs> I think you really enjoy it, to be honest. Oh, that racket is all about. Those four ups are always good fun, Liam. Okay, this is our ending line. Quite a heavy train for this sort of thing. Let's take an easy roll down now. Good night, Derek. Hello. How are you supposed to beat them? Yeah, top down. Yeah, exactly. Green at the top means main route is clear, green middle means a secondary route, so you're diverging. You just li you just you literally read them down like that. If it ain't all red, it ain't red. So red, green, red, it's green. Something like a yellow, green, red is um, I mean, each of them are patterns as well. They've got names like advanced approach or approach medium or something like that. So if you, what you can do is look up the signaling. This one is called G-Core. G-C-O-R. G-Core. So if you look up the uh, G-Core signals, you can see the pattern. Find the pattern. It will tell you what the name of it is. And it will tell you what to do. Because this is speed signaling. It's not like the UK. This is a bit more like Germany. That is a an instruction to go a particular speed after that signal. Now, now ask me what that speed is. I think it's a medium speed. It's 30. That's why it took so long to stop. Dummy.
even though the brakes are stronger than the throttle. Yeah, I know, but you've got one loco providing throttle and uh, however many uh, 10 vehicles providing brakes, so the brakes will usually win. Yeah, lower down signals. So this one, for example, was doing solid red, flashing red, because the second, the lower signals, because I'm diverging to the left, and the flashing red was a uh, restricting speed, so I can do 15 or 20 miles an hour beyond that signal. If it had been giving me permission to pull forward into this platform, it would have been flashing red, solid red, because that's the primary route. something we could potentially look at, Liam. <coughs> uh, I can't remember what, what was been announced. Sherman Hill obviously is our Chemnitz. Otherwise than that, it, have a look at the roadmap, Lee. overrun this one. Heavy rate. <coughs> Got a big old buffer on the back there, look, see? Good night, Wolf Boy, and thank you very much. What's this way for Christmas?
Oh, we coupled them all up. Uncouple six vehicles. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do that properly. <coughs> Thanks, Jason. Just finishing this one service and we'll be done. an interesting idea, Dean. I think it because it partly did it and then stopped because it, it recoupled again. I think that might have confused it, Liam. to join back onto the main line. We will cut it out for power. We don't need to be on too fast over the junction. There you go. This one's telling me that I'm taking another but different path again, look. Not the main line. So I'm presumably, I think I'll probably be crossing over in this section. Drop these three cars at Newell Yard and then we'll head bound into Seamoth. I'm doing well, thank you, Richard. So this signal is green red, which means we're clear on the main, carrying on where in the way we're going. another odd aspect coming up which is probably going to be something like a red yellow red flashing yellow red or just a red flashing yellow I guess 
Maybe even a red yellow red. I think there are a few people hanging out for um, you know when when content can be made like that. Um, Dean, you're not alone on that. It's not the majority view, but um, there's definitely a, a, a group of people uh, alike who have got that view. Totally understand it. Oh, this is yellow, yellow. Okay. Let's put some brakes on already. They're already down to 35. I love the MP15. We had the benefit we were able to go and get recordings of it. Always helps. Yeah, of course, there is the unofficial editor you can try using, Dean. <laughs> one or two people out there trying to make their own route. Was MP15 not recorded it? No, it was dead that day, wasn't it? You're right. Yeah, they got two. One of them was out doing stuff and the other one was in the shop not being used. So again, red, yellow, red means we're diverging again. I think, as Ed just said above, it was a hybrid of the SW1000R Amtrak one, which we did get recordings for, and, a, and some some bits and pieces from TS1, like I think possibly bits from the SW1500 and things like that, um, just well put together. Glass is taken from tiers one and get given new better textures. Well, quite quite often because the textures that come from tiers one are not that high res. Um, sometimes it's just a polish on that texture, uh, but then you've also again got to add the other texture sheets that don't exist in tiers one to fill out the rest of the stuff in the material. Most of it's not in the scenario designer. Interesting. I didn't realise that. I will uh, let the gameplay team know they ought to put some more parts in. Hey Tim. It's these 
those ones. And off to the seam off, just around the corner. I think it's right to do some shenanigans to get it to where you could access the right track. This was really awful. I couldn't think of any other way of doing it. expect to see a stream so late. Uh, it's only been going nearly five hours. And to be fair, Nat said, try and keep it under five hours, so. Us on the right track so we can get into Seamoth. Except for the fact that, you know, she, she's more concerned about my, you know, my health than she is about how long I stream for.
20. <clears throat> you got your booster today, Dean. Nice one. I won't be getting mine for ages. It's how late, uh, late, late on I got my waxings. I want to get back to streaming on my channel, James, baby, but... Uh, I was just thinking, why can't I go and here comes a train in the other direction? Boy, get out of my way. I'm not sure how much that would be different to what we normally do, and I quite enjoy what we normally do, so... Yonder train to get out of way. Trolling. Should get the signal in a minute. No, I haven't, uh, James Baby. I wake up, eat, sleep, and breathe train sim world, and go and then go to bed. <laughs> Oh, 
Red, yellow, red, diverging. Seventy nine speed limit is the speed limit that's uh, enforced if you do not have cab signaling yet. Eighty miles an hour or above requires cab signaling. Huddler's four up should be fun. Be an interesting challenge. which will be pretty much the start of Seamoth, I think. The, sig the cab signals are really just asking the route what the next signal is. So... I don't think the route really needs anything particular to make cab signaling work. What needs to happen though is that the cab signaling understands the different aspects and I don't know if it will understand the, uh, the, the SC70s ones, I don't think it will understand the aspects on the um, sand patch signals. So you might get weird things going up where it says one thing and does something else or says one thing and shows blank. This is usually a good indication that it doesn't recognise what it's being told. Cheers, bug guy. Glad you enjoyed. All right, coming into seam off now. No, it's not working correctly on Sherman Hill because, as it turns out, it doesn't even recognise the signals on that route properly. Don't ask me how that happened, but that's what's been found today. And fixed today. Bring the locomotive home. Five bombs. 
lost power, didn't it? What the heck? I don't think we've actively looked at Spanish stuff, no. But then, you know, we're interested in all railways around the world, but uh, there's only so many minutes in the day. Four hours and 55 minutes, Keenan, four hours and 55 minutes. We're not going to hit the five hour mark. Probably not. Boom! Another hour and ten minutes. Right. Excellent. Well, that's it for me. Um, it's past my bedtime. It's, uh... Thanks very much for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I certainly did. Um, so tick that box for me. Um, I hope we showed a bunch of different content. Hamburg Lübeck, Cathcart Circle, Peninsula Corridor. Did a few different things on them. And, um, yeah, I, like I said, I enjoyed it. I hope you did as well. Uh, don't forget, next week we've got more streams. Can't remember what they are. Um, if the schedule is out, then uh, go and have a look at it. If not, then look at it when it is out. Sorry, I can't be more help. Um, and uh, otherwise than that, have a fantastic weekend. Stay safe, folks, uh, in this bad weather. And uh, I'll see you next time. Cheers, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>